so for this video I wanted to show you my pipeline for getting textures out of Substance Painter and into Lightwave for use with Octane um, so I've just created this simple object and placed some materials on there as you can see uh, it's very very simple so what I want to do is to show you uh, my export settings so if I come across to export textures I could go to configuration and I'm going to create a new preset so let's just call that Octane Export okay so what we need here is maps that are going to match with uh, the Octane inputs in the node editor so I'm going to create a RGB image and that will be our diffuse. So at the moment in our PBR settings we're using uh, base colour, uh, roughness and metallic which are kind of maps that uh, Octane aren't going to be able to use at this stage so what we're going to use is these converted maps. So I'm going to convert my base colour to a diffuse. Let's click R RGB channels then I'm going to make a specular map which will be uh, call that spec and I'm going to drag my specular from converted maps onto the RGB box next I'm going to make a normal and I'm going to Again, take the converted maps and use normal OpenGL. Next, I'm going to take my um, roughness from the input maps. That's going to be a grayscale image. Okay, and then I'm going to take my emissive channel as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's going to match up with the Octane inputs in Node Editor. So if I come across to Export now, I can select my new preset, Octane Export, and there's all the images I'm going to export there. So I'm just going to navigate to where I'm saving, make a folder, and that's going to be Maps. and I'm going to export those only takes a second okay so there we are, those are the maps we're going to use you can see we've got a specular map here which is actually a coloured spec uh, which is just going to be useful for, for Octane so I'm going to pause the video um, I'll see you on the other side Okay, so we're over in Lightwave now. I've imported my 3D mesh and all of the maps that I've exported from Substance Painter. Uh, I've also gone and exported the uh, HDR image that I was using to light my object in Substance. So, first off, I'm just going to add the HDR uh, as an environment map. Uh, let's just go for Environment Texture Node and Octane Texture Image so I'm just going to connect these up and I'll add the panorama so if I just turn on IPR you'll see that this is really overcooked at the minute so what we're going to do is just come back into this environment image and we'll set the gamma to be 1 you see there that's much more like uh, we're expecting okay so now we'll have a look at the texture itself uh, the material itself so I'm going to add a glossy material and a texture image 
and I'm just going to start adding these now. So the diffuse, connect with the diffuse, and I'll copy and paste and just switch these out. So we'll go for specular. and then the normal map ok, we'll connect those up and all being well, this should look pretty similar to the uh, the render we had in Substance so we're just missing our emissive channel here so what I'm going to do just now going to add a um, emission and a diffuse and also a material mixer. Okay, so we'll add that to the emission. Okay, and then we are going to use our emissive channel to as a mask basically. So we'll add the emissive and we'll plug that into the mixer. So let's have a look what we've got here. Okay, there we go, that looks pretty good. So now just set up a, a bloom uh, node here and we'll shove the alpha channel on as well and there we are that's that's pretty much uh, pretty much it but the crossover means you get you get a very similar look from between the two programs okay thank you